would be crossing the Rainbow Bridge and go visit Canada. After going through customs, we'll pass Planet Hollywood, the gardens, do the uh, journey behind the falls, Whirlpool Aero Car, Skylon Tower. We will see the famous Jay Cochran while walking and more along the way. stopped by the Canadian customs and of course they're gonna check our passports and ask a few questions before we can enter Canada Still waiting for the border patrol officer. <laughs> One of the persons in our uh, tour did not have the right paperwork and had no choice but to walk back to the American side. Walked all the way back across the bridge. This is when I get told to shut the camera off. No filming here, okay? Okay, we're passing by the front of the Hard Rock Cafe. This is the nice entrance. Cool cars. the lid on, toss her in the water above the horseshoe fall, Andy and the cat go over and survive. We have class 6 rapids both above and below the falls. Class 6 is the highest category there is. It takes less than 6 inches of water to sweep a person off their feet at 22 miles per hour. And this water is running at 35. That bridge to nowhere. And you can see which locks are open, which ones are closed. You'd never see them open all at the same time. But in an emergency situation, they could close them off at the same time. Wow. Bring this water level down to within two or three inches of bottom. Electric. It's the Canadian Niagara, but they do sell it to the American side. We like to see Canada around here. Who's a little You've got to go over the water to cross between the guys. Yeah, you see a drink? This oh, is yeah. an international body of water. Wow. Yep, it's our natural boundary. Now you're going to go down for your journey behind the falls. Please wait. No, those are from England.
way to the journey behind the falls. Should be very interesting. In journey behind the falls, there's a lower observation deck where you're right under the Horseshoe Falls on the Canadian side. It's a pretty cool scene, let me tell you. The sound is like thunder. The sight is inspiring. Walk on to the upper and lower observation decks at the very foot of the falls. goes away from here, you believe that? We put each year. We're gonna go behind here now. Behind that water. Yeah. And stand in a mist where mighty horseshoe falls tumbles from 13 stories above. At journey behind the falls. You'll experience the awesome spectacle of one fifth of the world's fresh water crashing down to the basin below. During summer daylight hours, over 2,800 cubic meters of water thunder over the brink every second, traveling 65 kilometers per hour. You will find Journey Behind the Falls at the brink of the Canadian Horseshoe Falls in the Table Rock Welcome Center. Take an elevator down 45 meters, which is 150 feet, to bedrock, to tunnels leading to the cataract, portal and Great Falls portal, one third of the way behind the massive sheet of water. And here we're back on top at the Table Rock Welcome Center. The view definitely looks better from the Canadian side. Coming in right at the end of the Class 6 Rapids at 25 miles per hour, that vortex is not going to stay open. It's the vortex is in the white water, and if you watch it, you'll see it trying to open all day long. Now we're 200 feet above the water, the water below us is 200 feet deep. Rule of thumb is what goes down that vortex doesn't necessarily ever come back out again. The only way legally and safely you get into this area are the Whirlpool jet boat rides. They leave from Lewis to New York. It's just three miles down from here on the U.S. side. They take you into the giant whirlpool. They'll take you into the smaller whirlpools and spin you around. These guys know exactly what they're doing here. And there is like four or five huge engines on these boats. We might see one come up here yet. Soar the Great Gorge, high above the raging Niagara River. You'll be transported through the air in an antique cable car while far below the torrent of what abruptly changes direction and creates one of the world's most mesmerizing natural phenomena, the Niagara Whirlpool. Sometimes frightening and always unforgettable. The aerocar was designed by a Spanish engineer, Leonardo Torres, and has been in operation since 1916. The cable car is suspended from six sturdy cables and offers a wonderful view of the Niagara Whirlpool, and the river escapes through the narrowest channel of the gorge. A round trip is about one kilometer, which is 3,600 feet, carrying its capacity of 35 standing passengers. We're now passing the hydropower plant on our way to the conservatory clock. It's a very popular stop on the Niagara Parkway. 
and is photographed almost as often as the falls. The planet face is maintained by the Niagara Parks Horticulture staff while the mechanism is kept in working order by Ontario Hydro. The grounds surrounding the clock feature bedding displays and tower at the back of the clock houses Westminster chimes that chime each quarter of an hour. When the door into the tower is open, you can take a peek at the clock mechanism and enjoy photographs that show the history of every face design all the way back into 1950. The floral clock is 40 feet wide with a planted area 30 feet wide, making it one of the largest such clocks in the world. Well, it's time to visit the Skylon Tower. We will be going up those yellow bug elevators to the observation deck. This thing is 775 feet above the falls. We're going up right now, but it doesn't feel like we're going up at all. Beautiful scenery. With a rainbow. Oh, by the water? We've reached the observation deck. Look at this scenery. Famous Jay Cochran. Skywalked a distance of 650 feet between the Niagara Falls View Casino and Niagara Falls View Hilton Hotel, 400 feet above the ground. Jay's twice daily skywalks captivated on their own merit. Over the 71 days, Jay performed the skywalk, traveled more than 17 miles and spent almost three days in total time on the wire between the hotels. Since 2002, Jay has skywalked over 800 times in the Niagara region. Well, we're done with the uh, Canadian tour and we look forward to tomorrow's tour of the New York side. You all have a great day.